Good morning, guys. Welcome back to today's video. I got Sophie in the back. She's going to her riding lesson at the Pasofino farm. And I have Ellie yes, in the front. Hey, Els. Ellie. Hi, I babies. I didn't brush her this morning. I brushed her twice a day. It's annoying me. I don't like to take her out without being brushed. Anyway, today on the agenda, well, I have a lot to do today, a lot to do. There's a new pet store that just opened by us and Ellie needs a new halter. Let me see. Harness. Ellie needs a new harness. I'll show you guys this harness that she has. She has this little harness right here. It has a lot of material, especially for summer. It's thick. It doesn't even have like little, it's not even made with mesh or anything. It's too much. So I wanna get her something. I'm gonna go and see if they have something that will fit her better and be easier for summer. Come on, little mini. Come on, little baby. This is it, it's called Furball's Choice. Can I help you find anything? Uh, no, I'm good, thanks. Right, so they do have them. I think it's basically just a food store. Rabbit ears, oh my gosh. Rabbit feet, rabbit rind. That's cool. All right, that was awkward. It's just a small store and they only sell, food. they primarily sell food and raw food, raw food which is awesome. Cause I'm gonna get into that. It'd be so good for Daisy. But um, they did, had a few toys and stuff, but they don't sell like halters. No, what's it called? Harness, they don't sell harnesses. Store number two. All right, Els, I'm gonna go on a cart. Tender a baby. There you go. Alright, hold on. Don't even try and jump out. Here we go. So, I love this. This is so cute. But it's the same problem. Actually, it's not. It's got... Oh, actually, that's kind of cute. Oh, gosh. I need Sophie here to help me choose. Alright, so I want something really like this. Like this. This is what I want, but smaller. Alright. Hi. <laughs> You like this? She picked it. All right, I have two choices here. I have this, which is super cute and probably easy to put on. Super cute, but again, super thick and heavy for summer. And then I have this, which is thin and light for summer, but difficult to put on. Those two styles are basically my only choices. But I like this one, but again, it's a lot of material. See, that's an extra small and it has a lot of material. Just as much material as she has now. And it and it's super thick. How was your ride? It was good. We just got back. Oh God, you got a cat one? No, it's a dog one. It looks like a cat one. I know, I should have looked in the cat section because they're expensive. That is $22 just for that little tiny thing. I got Charlotte, I think her name is. Mm -hmm. Snap. She was the one on Cozy. Yeah, she's nice. I like her. Did you guys go to Jimmy's? No. Here we go. Are you hot? Are you thirsty? We're gonna stop and get a drink because I'm really thirsty. Mm -hmm. The vlog was almost over, you guys. It was almost over. No joke, it was almost finished. I put the camera down someplace so that I could get it when I was done what I was gonna be doing. I put it someplace close to where I was gonna be working and then I forgot where it was and it took me, I've been looking for like an hour to find the camera, an hour. But I found you, you're all safe and sound. So I told you guys that I really wanna get this whole section here all cleaned up. I found out how to do it, I figured it out. I've been raking using my metal rake and it works really good, I'll show you guys. The reason I have to get rid of it is because I have to pick up all these rocks. It's these rocks that are stopping us from being able to clean all this up. Because no lawnmower, we have a bull rush, but it doesn't cut grass all the way down to where we want it to be like nice grass. Essentially under all these weeds are all these big rocks and so Sam can't ride anything down here to cut the grass so we have to get the rocks out but to get the rocks out we have to move all these branches so that we can find the rocks i've used so many things you guys have seen nothing works for long until i tried this rake and it actually pulls everything out of the way does better when i have two hands crashes all these branches down and reveals the rocks and if worse comes to worse and I can't get the rocks out at least I can weed whack down here 
over top of the rocks. So there you have it. That is the thing, that's the thing that's working. Okay, so now I'm gonna tell you guys my other thing that I've discovered in getting a Yorkie. I don't know if you guys can see. She's the color of the land. <laughs> Maybe it'll be better when everything's green, but you can't see her. I can't see her ever. So I sit here calling Ellie, Ellie! Come here, Ellie! And then literally, all of a sudden she's at my feet and I don't know where she came from. Come on! Come on! She's not coming, she's too hot. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> She's waiting there for me. She's like, it's too hot. Come on, let's go see what Sophie's doing. Come on. She is fixing Willow up. This side was less good. <laughs> she, it took so long yesterday that she decided to like just finish it off and come back today and make her look pretty. So she's finishing her up, making her look a little bit cuter. Just this amount of stuff on the ground today. Almost half of that bag is, is filled, with, filled with Willow. Never shaving a horse. <laughs> Say it again. Why? <laughs> She is never shaving a horse again. She wanted to do this so badly. It is scorching, you guys. Another day at almost 30 degrees Celsius, which is like 86 or 80 something. It's really hot. It's like scorching, and tomorrow's gonna be the exact same. Willow, I think, appreciated her haircut yesterday and today. Sam and Gabby went into town to get some groceries to make something special for dinner. Sam's making something special for dinner. And I'm trying to get work done on the farm and Sophie's trying to get work done in the barn, but it's so hot. Like you have to take so many breaks. And poor Ellie, she is scorched. I'm probably gonna shave her. What do you guys think? Do you think I should shave her? I think I should shave her. Because she's outside all the time. She's always outside. And she's so furry. My job today is to figure out what is in these buckets. I'm gonna clean them. But before I clean them, I'm gonna figure out what's in here. Nothing in here. Okay, so this is our tutu. And these, oh my gosh, are our Ofina stirrups, which I love. And in here is garbage, garbage. Sophie's gonna need this. And some sponges. Uh, these are some of our braiding stuff. A salt lick, that's adorable, isn't it pretty? Some measuring tape and the sensitive bit box. So I'm gonna just clean these out, find a spot for all this. In fact, what I really wanna do is clean up this whole wall here, it's just a mess. I also have this um, tack up spray. I got this against everybody's wishes, like our coach told me not to buy it, my friend told me not to buy it. Um, but I liked it. This really helps. I used it for my first show. Did I, no, I did not use it for my first show. I used it before my first show and then my my pants, my boots were sticky for so long, for like weeks after. All right, let's see. I think it's time to get all of our grooming stuff out of this tack trunk. This is where we keep it. So somewhere in here, there's another sponge. Um, anti-flam. This is the stuff that I use on our horses sometimes. I use this and I use the liver detox and the kidney detox on occasion. There's literally so many things to clean and start cleaning and organizing. I don't know where to start. Every year for show season we pack up that trunk and then at the end of the year we just leave everything in there because we know we're not going to need it. But now it is time. It's time you guys to figure out what we have and what we need. We even have water in here. You guys know when people say, oh, you should get this for your horses. Well, we were those kind of people that when people suggested stuff, we got them. So we went to one horse show and it was rainy. And so then we bought this horse raincoat. This is actually a horse raincoat. It goes over top of the whole saddle, all the way up his neck. And we bought it, we've never used it. When Gabby was really young, she saw somebody with um, one of these blankets on their horse after their ride while they were waiting to go out and do the next course. And it was like a, it's a, I forget what it's called. But anyway, we bought it because she loved it and we wanted to use it, never used it. Never ever had the time because her, her courses have always been so fast and it was never cold. Like we never show in the cold. I have an entire bag of gloves show gloves, which I'm gonna wash them. 
Most of them don't even fit my kids, but I keep them because whenever we're at a show, some kid shows up without gloves and needs gloves, and then I have like all these pairs that can that I can lend out. You guys know how Storm always used to rub out his tail? Somebody told us Preparation H would stop him from rubbing out his tail. We bought it. Show Sheen we use every time. These uh, Lexol Quick Wipes leather conditioners we use. This is the stuff that we use to make sure our horses don't get thrush and we have not had a problem ever since we've been using it. Quick Braid we use. This Miracle Groom in a Bottle, oh my gosh, it is phenomenal. Especially if you're going to a show and it's not warm enough to like bath your horse. Holy moly, it's so perfect. Uh, this is some of Gabby's fancy tack cleaner. All right, so Sophie's going to give Willow a quick bath. A quick bath, Sophie. I don't want her to get cold. Um, here's some shampoo, but wait. We have this yeah. soap on a rope, shampoo on a rope. This stuff that comes from, from Virtue Soap Company is like a bar of soap, soap on a rope. You can keep it on your wrist while you're bathing, and it smells so good. It's Centronella, and it's supposed to deflect bugs at the same time. So good. This... Uh, what's this called? This main cutter, you know, it's uh, I forget what it's called, but it's that brush that you use so that you can cut your horse's mane without making it look like it's been cut. Yeah, useless. We don't ever use it. We do use um, shoe polish to put on our on our boots. We always take bug spray with us for people and for horses. Sophie, here's a sponge. Oh, she looks so cute. I bought this power quench apple a couple years ago never use it because our horses always drink people always take tell us to take baler twine everywhere we go and actually we use this we use this everywhere we go we always need it it always comes in handy honestly we have so much stuff and i want to organize it all and then over here we have tail bags braiding stuff more gloves, more, I don't even know what those are. Just so many things. So many little knickknacks. These are all the things that I keep. I keep like all the clips and stuff that from old blankets, we have bridal, we have bridal stuff. You name it, we have it. We have a lot of medicines, a lot of, whoops. We have a lot of stuff, guys. Ellie, a lot of stuff. What the heck is this? Cookies, horse cookies. Anyway, that's my goal. I am gonna organize us for this show season so that I know everything that we need to buy and everything that we already have and it's all gonna be in one place. Now that all of our horses are at the same barn, we can literally keep everything in one place. I use this for sunscreen and I use it for mud fever. More shoe shine stuff. And here is some of our high vis stuff, high, high, high vis stuff. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff. I am gonna go through all of it. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the